Hi everyone, it's Talia and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. So for today's video I have a super exciting one and today we're going to be testing out Beautyworks hair tools and their hair care products. I'm super excited for this video because I'm constantly looking for new ways to curl my hair. You guys are always asking me what I use to curl my hair so hopefully today, fingers crossed, we can find a new hair curling tool or styler and we have got 500 pounds worth of stuff and as i said earlier i'm actually going to be testing out the products it's not just going to be a haul i'm going to show you guys how everything works and give you guys my honest opinion i will just say these products were kindly gifted to me by beauty works but as i said i'm going to be giving you guys my honest opinion hair is not something that i will ever joke about this is serious to me because i feel like my hair is like very important to me so i feel like i'm going to start off with the actual hair care products and then we will get into the styling tools after so first things i got are actually part of like they look very similar the packaging of all these products is stunning so this is the dry oil spray for wet or dry hair and this is the anti-frizz serum i need a bit of anti-frizz serum literally like every single day of my life because my hair is so frizzy especially when it's naturally dried it's horrific. And this dry oil spray is pretty much just the same as the anti-frizz serum. Obviously this one has like a pump though, so it's more of like a oil kind of vibe, I guess. And this one you can just spray on whenever. And then I got some hairspray and I also got some argan serum. So I'm obsessed with both of these. I've tried a lot of the products already, but this one here is so good. I speak about it more in the clip of me doing this hair and this hairspray does not make your hair go crispy if you guys know what i'm talking about you know what i'm talking about and then obviously we have the argan serum with argan oil and this bottle just looks so so stunning like i actually am in love with it and obviously you can use this on wet or dry hair i especially love to use serums after i've used heat on my hair because i just feel like it adds a bit of shine and like moisture back into your hair and then i picked up these two bad boys so this is the beauty works dream shine spray on humidity shield it repels moisture conceals frizz and adds shine and then this little bottle of absolute dreams this is the beauty works 10 in 1 miracle spray are you ready for this i love this product so so much i'm just so sad it's so small i'm definitely gonna have to get some more so this is anti-frizz moisturizing glosses and shines prevents split ends strengthens hair protects from heat nourishes and restructures is an antioxidant and anti-aging extra body and volume and superior styling could you want much more from a tiny little bottle? Absolutely not. So I love this stuff. I don't want this to come across like just because I was gifted these products that I'm just going to say something good about them. You guys know that that's not how I work. But generally so far I'm so impressed with all the hair care products and I'm so picky with hair care. Especially because my hair is long and I want to look after it. I will always try to use the best things and I have absolutely no complaint about any of these products yet and I've used all of them. And then I picked up a heat protection spray I go through heat protection sprays like crazy. I douse my hair in them because I'm so scared of the amount of heat that I use that I'm going to ruin my hair. And this one actually says with lemon juice and the keratin, which I thought was really, really interesting. And it's a nice big bottle, so it's definitely going to last me a while. And then finally, I picked up one of their shampoos and one of their conditioners shampoo and conditioner i mean and these are the smaller bottles they do do a salon size bottle though so if you i mean i feel like this is good to test it but personally for me i go through things like conditioner like absolute crazy so if you do know you like it then you may as well invest in the bigger one so these shampoos are pearl nourishing argan oil shampoo they did have another shampoo i believe however i chose to get the argan oil one because as i said i do get dry hair i'm quite like in the sense that my hair never really gets greasy it always gets really dry so I like to obviously use things that are going to nourish my hair. And then the final thing I got was actually a hairbrush. It does have hair on it, so I'm sorry, that is really gross. But as I said, I have already used all of the hair care products because I want to give you guys my opinion on testing them. But it's a really nice bristle hairbrush. It has like smaller bristles and then longer ones to obviously get to 
all the layers of your hair so the first thing we're going to start off with is probably what everyone is wanting to see and this is the beauty works and molly may collaboration they do sell this particular curler on its own but i thought that a lot of people would be more interested in the actual collab with molly may so that is why i picked up this one i love all of the boxes that the beauty works products come in i just like they've got the packaging down to a t of literally everything all of their hair styling tools come with a heat glove which i think is really good and again all of the boxes come with a little styler manual and it gives you some pro tips on how to style your hair so you can obviously read those and get a little gist of how you should use everything however this is what the money made collaboration looks like i've noticed that beauty works kind of colouring is more gold however all of Molly May's stuff is actually in pink and what you do is you just open this up and look how cool this is so I had no idea that I actually came with all this I just saw the Molly May one and was like yeah okay I'll have that so it actually comes with I don't know what these clips are called if you're a hairdresser then you probably will so it comes with one two three four five six seven eight nine ten it comes with ten clips and also another brush which is really nice and it's actually a more oval one obviously the one that i showed you guys earlier was a rectangle oh my god does this come as well oh my goodness i'm literally having a revelation right in front of you so this is what the curler is in and you can actually detach the curler from this and then if you don't want to take all this stuff you just take this or vice versa so anyway here is the curler obviously i've already got it out because um i actually styled my hair i use this curler to style my hair today and i'm not gonna lie originally when i did it i was a little bit like oh is it sitting right but as i've kind of let the hair settle it definitely looks a lot nicer as you guys can see this is a pink curler and also has an led screen i'll show you guys properly when i'm actually using the tool however this is just obviously what it looks like and what i really like about all the beauty work products is the actual i don't know what you'd call this bit of the curler the actual curler itself is really really long all of their hair tools are also you can change the heat setting which i really like because sometimes you just want to top it up and you don't need it as hot but it goes up to 220 so the next things i'm going to move on to are actually their wave bars they have two different sizes of these so i wanted to get both of them and try them out i'm pretty sure i have all of their hair tools that they sell so i mean i'm 99.9 percent .9 sure that i do this is called the flat iron wave bar and this is a 38 millimeter one and basically you just open it don't hold it up like that and you also get another travel case as i told you guys their actual theming is gold and the buttons on this one are silver again it works exactly the same as the last color that i showed you but obviously it's just a different barrel that's what it's called it's called a barrel and also i forgot to say but they do also come with like the plastic thing so when you set it down like the barrel won't touch the floor and also another boring detail the actual leads that they have for obviously the wire are all really long and i have a hair curler and it's so short and i'm literally like this trying to curl my hair sometimes so yeah i'm really excited to try that i feel like that's going to give me really natural curls and then we're going to move on to the 25 millimeter wave bar so just to give you guys a little close-up obviously the main thing of this video is me actually testing out the products but i did just want to show you guys everything like close up and be able to talk about again it has a long barrel and i like the size of it i've never used anything like these products so i'm really excited to see if they actually work and what kind of result they give us and finally we have the product that i think well to be honest i'm excited about everything i just love styling hair but i've wanted one of these for such a long time and i've never actually got one and this is actually called the waver it is a monster it is massive but don't be scared of it so it's basically like an old style crimper but these give you mermaid waves and i've seen so many girls on instagram with their mermaid wave hair and they all look incredible so i'm really excited to try this out on my hair buttons are positioned slightly differently they are down the actual handle and so they're just chilling at the top and yeah it looks really cool doesn't it i'm scared but i'm excited so guys we are going to start off by trying out the molly may curl kit so i'm really really excited about this because i've heard so many people raving about this so 
obviously we are going to put it to the test and i used the shampoo and the conditioner i will say the shampoo looked really really watery but it was absolutely fine like it lathered up really well and the conditioner was really good as well my hair felt so dry because i've been using so much heat on it recently so it was really nice to you know put on a nice conditioner and then before i blow dried it i used the heat protection spray and i also used the 10 in 1 miracle spray and then after i had blow dried it i put on the argan serum as i said my hair was really really dry so uh, we're trying to preserve it as best as possible because we don't want to be ruining this hair anytime soon and it probably is ruined already but we move on so i'm gonna start off with doing like the under layer i'm only gonna section my hair into two different sections i'm gonna look so cute you guys aren't even ready this is really like the most unprofessional you never see me also what i really like about the curler is i really want you guys to be able to see this it actually counts up the degrees that it's going so obviously you'll be able to tell when it is hot i don't know which hand i should be holding the curler ring okay i think my right hand so we're going to put on the protective glove so i don't burn my hands off because it's definitely something i would do i actually burnt my head yesterday with a curler so um well done me also i've got a mirror down here so i'm gonna look down here um but it works out pretty well anyway so then you guys can obviously see right i don't know how long i'm meant to hold it for so we're just gonna have an educated guess and i always like to catch my curls when i'm doing them with just a wand and not a clamp and just squeeze them wow look at that curl she's so cute right so i've got a slightly thicker piece of hair on this one and we can obviously see how it's gonna come out that was quite a nice curl that we just got i'm excited oh no it's slipping out of my hand nice as you can tell that's definitely a looser curl so i think i'm gonna opt for the smaller sections just because then i know that the curl is obviously going to stay and not drop out <laughs> you out of my mind it's like i feel it for the first time been thinking about you all night i've been searching for this all my life you're just my type i've been looking for a boy who can treat me right but your dark hair with those eyes so bright they look into my soul and it sparks my life can i take you there like it was the first time do you remember can i take you there I've just finished curling my hair. I haven't brushed through it yet with my hands. However, I did just quickly want to speak about this hairspray because obviously, as you guys know, I was spraying my hair kind of as I was going. I always do that. I don't know if you guys have ever, I mean, I feel like a lot of people probably have, but you use a hairspray on your curls and then your hair goes like crispy. Like you do this and it's like crunching. This hairspray is so like natural like i literally can't feel anything on my hair i'm just gonna brush out my hair with my hands let me know what you guys think i definitely feel like i've got a lot of volume going on in my hair which is always a good thing i don't think you can ever complain about something like that i'm really impressed with this hair curler i feel like the curls look really nice and i like the fact that obviously you can do tight curls you can do looser curls so i'm aware my hair is looking slightly crazy which is why we are gonna hopefully fix it and not make it look any worse with some of my beauty works products obviously it is now a new day that i'm filming this hair clip because um i actually really enjoyed my curls yesterday and i wanted to keep them for the rest of the day i'm not gonna lie they didn't last all day so i'm thinking that we're gonna start off with the wave bar so this is the 25 millimeter one i'm gonna take quite medium to smallish chunks of hair can you guys see that that looks really I don't know. I feel like it looks more like a curl than a wave. So now I'm going to try a slightly bigger piece of hair to see how that one goes. And we're going to do it towards our face. As you guys can see, this is why I really like the fact that they have a long barrel. Like, all my hair fills up the whole barrel. And that is what the curl looks like. Again, it looks like a curl more than a wave but obviously i'm gonna leave them tightly you know corkscrewed around 
and then at the end we will brush through it with my hands just finished doing my hair as you can see we've got um a lot of tight curls and i accidentally went a little bit high over here but we're just gonna go ahead and brush oh brush through whoa 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 we have got a lot i feel like i look slightly like a poodle but when it drops okay i definitely need to style my hair but look at these curls. Like, this is honestly... Look at my hair. There are so many curls. I don't think I've ever seen my hair this curly and, like, actually look nice. We are now moving on to the... I believe it's a 38mm wave bar. So I'm definitely excited to see how my hair is going to react to this obviously we've got quite tight curls already so i'm just going to heat it up to the 220 mark like i did for the other two so this one i'm going to take quite big chunks of hair so i can really get the loose wave slash curl so it's definitely a lot looser than the other one let me try one smaller section for you guys to obviously see and then that is what the looser one looks like again it's really not that much of a tight curl so i don't think there's too much difference between doing a thicker piece of hair or obviously a smaller one <laughs> just finished styling my hair and as you guys can see i've kind of already lost the front bit of this curl overall it doesn't look too bad as you can see i've definitely lost a lot of curl but i know from personal experience that using a larger barrel curler doesn't really work too well on my hair i definitely prefer the 25 millimeter wave bar i do really like the look of the curls but as i said i just know it's not going to hold as long which is the only shame we are now going to move on to probably the second most hyped about product from beauty works i'd say the first one is obviously the money made collaboration that curler and then we have also got the waver now i have wanted to wave my hair for the longest time but i'm always really scared that it's not gonna come out right and i have a fear of having like frizzy hair i'm just gonna pull out this bit of hair and then oh my god i can't actually see the back of my head put it on here and then just wait a few seconds and then work our way down i think that's what you're meant to do. I don't know why I'm so nervous. If it doesn't look nice, I can just go wash it and it'll be back to normal. How's it looking? You guys can probably see better than I can. Does it look waved? It does look waved, doesn't it? How's it looking? I can see in the mirror behind me and it looks actually, uh... looks pretty decent. Always falling for the wrong guys They keep telling me it's alright How could I be so blind? So we are half a head through. And what are we thinking? I don't know if it's because I've never had this hairstyle before that it's kind of like thrown me off. What are we thinking? I feel like they're good waves. Like, don't get me wrong. They're definitely good. But it's definitely a look that I would have to get used to. And I'm scared to brush through it because I know they're just going to like puff out. The hair has been waved. And what are we thinking? I feel like this side hasn't gone as well. And I think it's because of the curls I had in it previously. Do I just look like a poodle? Though, this is my only issue. Oh no. Did I just ruin it? I think I might have just ruined it. <gasps> Quick, go back. This side I definitely just messed up, haven't I? <gasps> Let's use a dry oil spray. I feel like this side of my hair is looking so shiny, but I really just like ruin this side didn't i by flicking it over but let me know what you guys think i definitely think that they are good waves i think it's i mean from the back of my head that i can see like in the mirror because i have two mirrors here it looks really good like i feel like if i saw someone's hair like that i'd be like oh cute hair but i think it's just 
where I'm not used to it, I'm a little bit like caught off guard. So I just quickly wanted to give you guys my overall opinion on all of the Beauty Works products. So the hair care products, I have generally no complaints whatsoever. Like my hair, I've just used three <laughs> different sources of heat on it and it generally doesn't even feel like dry like obviously the ends are a little bit dry but I still have that really good shine and obviously I did spray on this dry oil spray and it's definitely added shine to my hair. The hair tools themselves, if we're going to rank them from like 4 to 1, 4 being my least favourite and 1 being my most favourite, I'm going to say the Molly May Hair Curler probably is my least favourite just because it didn't give me the tight curls that I was used to. And then in third place I'm going to put the 38mm wave bar. I'm going to put my little wave bar because I think I can grow to love this and as a wave bar goes I definitely think that is a good one. And finally you guys probably guessed it, my top choice of the hair tool is 110 million percent the flat iron wave bar in the 25mm one. So overall I am so impressed with Beauty Works. I wasn't sure if it was going to be a bit of like a overhyped thing. Like I know so many people bang on about Beauty Works. So I'm really happy that I was obviously given the opportunity to test this all out for you guys. So I hope you all did enjoy this video. If you did, don't forget to leave it a massive thumbs up. Comment down below what you thought and obviously if you guys have any other video suggestions then be sure to leave them down below in the comments. And obviously if you guys aren't ready then make sure you subscribe to my channel. Go follow me over on my Instagram and I shall see you all very soon with a new one. Bye.